हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू माई क्लास आई एम जनीषा फ्रॉम सैंट जोसफ पी यू कॉलेज विजयपुर आई एम डीलिंग विद इकनॉमिक सब्जेक्ट सो इन द लास्ट क्लास वी हैव डिस्कस्ड अबाउट द प्रोडक्शन पॉजिबिलिटी फ्रंटियर एलॉन्ग विद द इकनॉमिक प्रॉब्लम्स सो इन दिस टूडेज एपिसोड वी आर गोइंग टू डील विद ऑर्गेनाइजेशन ऑफ economic activities so then how the economic activities like production consumption distribution and exchange of goods and services are organized in the economy choice is an important tool in the organization of economic activities because the problem of choice arises due to the unlimited wants and limited resources and also an individual a nation too has limited resources therefore nations have to decide what to produce how to produce and for whom to produce throughout the world different people have different solutions to these central problems in this way a nation tries to solve these problems and determines its types of economy also called its economic system so in this way we can observe here there are basically to solve the basic economic problems like what to produce how to produce and for whom to produce so the society must should follow the three types of economic system they are centrally planned economy or socialist economy market economy or capitalist economy and third one mixed economy so these are the three type of economic system which is helpful to solve the basic economic problems then let me discuss in detail about centrally planned economy now we'll discuss about centrally planned economy or socialist economy in detail in a centrally planned economy or socialist economy or command economy all the economic activities are controlled by the central government rather than the private business people and also centrally planned economy is based on the belief that social welfare can be achieved only if the government plays an active role in the working of the economy then we came to know about that in centrally planned economy the major purpose is social welfare of the economy not an individual welfare in such economies the government takes decisions about the allocation of resources in accordance with the predetermined goals and objectives to attain maximum social welfare and also the government decides what to produce how to produce and what prices are to be fixed in this way we can say that the government or the central authority plans all the important activities in the centrally planned economy and also profit maximization is not the major consideration in the centrally planned economies those goods and services will be produced which the government finds as most useful for its society that means which goods and services are most demanded most useful so that goods and services will be produced by the economy and the socially most useful technique 
in production is adopted and also you know that two types of techniques labor intensive and the capital intensive in this which technique is most suitable for the society so that can that can be used and also the socially most useful techniques in production is adopted in this economy in a situation of mass unemployment for example if there is a labor intensive technology will be preferred to capital intensive technology so that unemployment will be reduced and also goods will be produced preferably for those residents who are suffering from hunger and starvation even it even if it implies a loss thus we can say that under centrally planned economy the government can decide what to produce how to produce and for whom to produce and for and how much quantities will pro produce so like that all the decisions will take from the cent uh, by the centrally planned economy and also centrally planned economic system was followed by so this country these are the examples north korea cuba china and vietnam so these are the countries having centrally type of centrally planned economy next we will discuss about another one market economy market economy or capitalist economy here in a country like the united states of america most of the economic decisions are taken through market mechanism so as you know that market is a set of arrangements where economic agents can freely exchange their endowments or products with each other that means buying and selling activities is called market in the market economy or capitalist economy here the main or sole motive is nothing but profit and also it is not an a purpose like social welfare or the economic welfare but individual welfare and also profit is main target in the market economy and also in a market economy all the economic decisions regarding the production supply determination of prices so everything comes under that is market mechanisms on the basis of demand and supply a market is a mechanism through which buyers and sellers interact to determine prices and exchange of goods and services in a market or capitalist economy private individuals own the factors of production like land labor capital and organization and also i said here profit is sole motive and there is no interference by the government in the economic activities of the economy that means the government will not interfere in the market economy in a market economy everything has a price prices serves as indicator to producers and consumers prices coordinate decisions of the producers and the consumers in the market so higher prices tend to reduce consumer purchases and encourage production lower prices encourage consumption and discourage production thus prices are the balancing wheel of the market mechanism and also this is called as price mechanism and also in the market economy no individual organization or government is responsible for the production consumption and distribution of pricing of economies thus we can say that in the market economy all the economic decisions are under the control of or it is managed by owned by that is price mechanisms on the basis of demand and supply the following countries like japan 
USA, Australia and some other countries they follow the market economy or capitalist economy. And also the market economy simultaneously solves the three basic problems of the economy that is what to produce, how to produce and for whom to produce. Then we see how the problems will be solved in the market economy. So when the question of what to produce arises, then the producers will produce those goods that are high in demand and less in supply. That means, so what are the goods we need to produce at that time? Which are the goods in the society most demanded? And which are in less supply? So that should be produced. Such goods fetch high price and high profit for the producers and also the market mechanisms so they fixed high price for highly demanded products and also it is profitable to the and also it is profit to the producers one of the most profitable activities today is producing and marketing of drugs drugs for diseases like depression anxiety, importance, weight loss and similar problems of human existence. Attracted by the high profits, companies are investing billions in research to come up with new and improved medicines. And also second problem, how things are produced that is determined by the Competition among different producers. The best way for the producers to meet price competition and maximize profit is to cost at a minimum by adopting the most efficient method of a production. That is obviously we know that capital intensive technology. And also while finding the solution for whom to produce. In a free economy, the producers will produce goods for the rich people who can afford to pay high price. Poorer section of the society are often ignored. So in this way, here gap between the rich and poor tends to increase. Thus, we can say that in the market economy, it is suitable for the rich people, rich section of the, the rich section of the society, because their intention is to get more profit rather than the welfare of the society. So, this is what market economy. The third type of economic system that is mixed economy. In reality, all economies are mixed type of economy. A mixed economy is nothing but a coexistence of both private and public enterprises. A mixed economy is one where there is a both the private and public sectors existed. And it is a golden mixture of both capitalism and a centrally planned economy. Here the resources are owned and governed by both the private and public enterprises. In such economies, some areas of economic activities are the sole responsibility of the government and while all other areas are open to the private sector. That means some areas are under the control of government and some other that is open to the private sector. The government engages itself in those activities that promote social welfare and that are considered unprofitable by the private sector. That means those activities which are helpful to the society or the social welfare so that is undertaken by the government and it is unprofitable to the private sector. The private sector operates with the aim of 
maximizing profits by allocating resources efficiently. In this type of economy, there is a dual pricing system can exist it. For example, in India, we have a dual price of product. In India, we have a dual pricing for products like liquid, petroleum, gas, LPG. So, in this, the price is controlled for domestic users through public distribution system and open market price for commercial users. And also, in a type, in a and also in a typical mixed economy, the government may run activities such as postal service, railways, libraries, public parks and in some cases the health care services. Even in industries, even in industries which are not owned or run by the government, its influence is very noticeable in the form of tax and regulations of wage controls, etc. The countries like India, Pakistan, Sri Lanka, Brazil. So, they are following mixed economy. So, that we came to know that in a mixed economy, price and planning mechanism together solve the different problems in the following ways. That means the basic problems like three problems. So, that can be solved under the mixed economy that is following ways. The problem of what to produce is solved that is mainly by the consumers. However, unlike capitalism or market economy, the government interferes in this choice. And if the government wants to discourage the production of goods, and it will impose higher taxes on those goods. Similarly, in order to promote the production of goods, it will declare subsidy or tax concession. That means, which goods are discouraged by the government, so that should be imposed higher taxes, and which goods the government will order to promote the production of, production, production of goods, then the government will give the tax concession or the subsidy and also second one the problem of how to produce so this is solved on the basis of second one the problem of how to produce is solved based on both profit and social welfare here the private sector will select the least cost technology for the maximization of a profit and the public sector will select the technology on the basis of the composition of resources and the third one the problem for whom to produce it is solved mainly by the ability to pay the goods and services are produced for the people who can pay the price for it however the government also take care of the weaker section of the society and who cannot pay the market price. In this way, we can say that the government makes available the essential goods at reasonable prices through the fair price depots. So, this is what the mixed economy. In this way, we can say that the three economic systems like centrally planned economy, market economy and the mixed economy so this will try to solve the problems like what to produce how to produce and for whom to produce okay students so this is what the economic systems and in the next session we'll discuss about furthermore regarding this concepts Thank you.